Florida heads to Nashville to take on Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt is a 14-point home underdog with a total set at 57.5. The latest numbers at BetUS. Going to pull it up on the screen here so that we can look at what is actually happening. Uh, the trends on here, Florida 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five against Vanderbilt. Florida is 5-2 and two against the spread in their last seven games. So Billy Napier, of course, doing good things right now. They are 3-8 and eight against the spread in their last 11 on the road. Vanderbilt 7 and 2, excuse me, 7 and 22 <laughs> in their last 29 games at home. Uh, they are 1 and 5 against the spread against teams with a winning record and they are 9 and 2 against the spread in their last 11 in November. So that is certainly something to pay attention to. They seem to be better developed towards the end of the season. You start looking at these numbers. Uh, my number has it and this is based on the last 5 weeks. I'm going to say that multiple times for the video clips, but these stats are over the last five weeks. The Florida defense is not good against the pass. Number 116 PPA per pass, number 92 as far as passing success rate. Um, Vandy's offense can throw the ball a little bit. Number 50 in pass success, number 10 in passing explosiveness, while Florida's defense is number 112 in giving up explosive passes. So uh, something to certainly pay attention to there, uh, but you you move down to the other side, right? And this is where I'm I'm a little concerned for Vanderbilt. Rushing explosiveness for Florida is number five on offense. Uh, Vandy's defense is number 94. PPA per rush, 16 for Florida. Uh, it's number 72 for Vandy's defense. I feel like Vandy can get run over here. Uh, they have they had some success, obviously, against Vanderbilt. I mean, against uh, Kentucky last week. But Florida is showing a different gear right now. They are really, really rolling with this offense. They're not going to throw it a whole lot They're over the past five weeks. They're only throwing the ball 44% of the time. This looks like a mismatch where Florida just has the bigger dudes. They are probably going to be able to run them over. I know that the line has come down. A lot of money has come in on Vanderbilt uh, to be able to cover this. I kind of like Florida in this spot. I understand that they've got Florida State coming up next. But I'm I'm going to roll with Florida to cover the 14 here uh, because I think that it, they're just going to run the ball. They, they're not going to put themselves at a lot of risk. They've got more athletes. I, I trust Florida to be able to get this done. So give me the Gators to cover the 14 on the road. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.